Hi, my name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Manager for Hotgrid Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the Clearance Verification Tool inside of SOLIDWORKS. To begin, you want to start with an assembly that is laid out where you think components need to be. Here I have a PCB board. In this particular model, I'm concerned with this heatsink and its proximity to these connectors nearby. I want to ensure that I have a minimum of one inch spacing to ensure that I have proper heat dissipation between the heatsink and the actual cables. To check that, I could take a series of measurements using my Evaluate Measure tool and check different angles and faces, but that's going to take a considerable, considerable amount of time. Instead, I can go to my Evaluate tab and use this Clearance Verification tool. The Clearance Verification tool will allow you to specify between components or individual faces. You can also have it check between a set of selected items or between one item and the rest of the assembly. I want to go ahead and check between the heatsink, my ribbon cable connector, and these two connectors to the right side. I'm looking for a minimum of one inch clearance. Next I'll go ahead and hit calculate. This will now show me any results where I have a distance of less than one inch. You can see I found two results. The first one is the distance between my heatsink and the ribbon cable connector, which is going to be a problem. The second one that is identified is the distance between my two other connectors. Since I'm not worried about the distance between connectors and just the distance from the heatsink, I'm going to go ahead and choose to ignore that particular clearance. Returning to clearance one, notice that it's showing just the two components that are having a problem. All other components have become invisible. This is due to our display options down here for uninvolved components. We can display them as wireframe, hidden, transparent, or in their current display state. I prefer to use wireframe. That way, my components that are problematic become transparent, and everything else becomes wireframe, so I can still see where things are in relation. If you don't want to see your results as a distance, but actually by the name of the components, we can change component view on, and we'll see that the issue is between the heatsink and the ribbon cable socket. When I'm happy with my results, I'll go ahead and say OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this component so that I don't have an issue anymore. I'll right click, choose Move with Triad, and I'm going to reposition this connector over here on the other side of my board. With it in its new position, I can go to Evaluate and run Clearance Verification one more time just to ensure there's still no problems. Now the only problem is again between my two components, and I can go ahead and ignore that. There are no issues between the clearance of this heatsink and those three components that I was worried about. Today we took a look at how to use clearance verification to check the spacing between two components. Clearance verification is a very handy tool to confirm spacing for things such as heat or spacing for mechanical tolerances. Thanks for watching.